Um, what do you wish you were better at in your business? Um, I would say what I can be doing better at uh, is saying no and delegating. Um, no is a complete answer without an explanation. Mm -hmm. And I'm learning that even more. Um, because I am racing time. I do not have enough time in the day. Yeah. Um, I wake up 3, 4 o'clock in the morning. You know, uh, there's some days that I'm putting in 16 hours. Um, and within that is that now I have to say no to more meetings. I have to say no to meetings that do not have agenda. Mm -hmm. I cannot attend meetings if there's no actionable uh, action steps. Sure. We need a call to action at the end of this meeting. What, what, is, what are we going to achieve with this? Right. Um, so I need to do that better, saying no. Mm -hmm. And then also delegating. Now, I will say as an entrepreneur, what I love is that you have to be every role. Because mm -hmm. how do you know what you need help with? Right. How do you know what you're good at? What do you know what you need to be better in or what you're not good that you need to outsource? Yeah. So when you are an entrepreneur, you're going to be every role trying to find a balance. I'm here to say there is never going to be a perfect balance. Mm -hmm. There's no such thing as a balance. There's just something psychologically that we put in our brain thinking we're going to ever achieve that, and that's not. Yeah. Because when you create a solution to one, it's going to be a problem to something else. So within that is you want to start out in each role, and you create SOPs. Standing operating procedures, also policy procedures. Document everything that you do so when you do hire, they know how to do that. Mm -hmm. And then you do the next thing. But focus on the things that you're good at. Focus on the revenue generating tasks because that's what I do. Yeah. Because time is money. Yep. And I, when I look back at it, what was it, three years ago, I think I posted on Instagram, is that three years ago I took a huge pay cut making 15 something dollars an hour, even on a college degree. And that was like so humbling. Even though I got bonuses and commissions and stuff like that, but making fifteen dollars an hour, I now send out invoices no less than one hundred fifty dollars. Yeah. I don't tell you know when you start a job, they tell you how much you're gonna make. No, I tell people how much you're gonna pay me. Yeah. I'm able to say no to certain things that that's not in line with my mission or vision of mm -hmm. who I am and also within my company. Yeah. Um. So within that, you have to do a little bit of every role to really discover what you want out that business. But also what I teach is that you can be in your business and grow your business. So in that beginning stage, you're going to be in it. But if you want to scale and grow and pivot, you have to delegate and have people in those roles so yeah. you can focus on growing it. That's tough, though. Delegating is tough. It is. Because they may not do it the same way you do or they it may is. mess up. or Yeah. <laughs> I've been facing that sometimes. So inflation and labor and all of this that's going on. So, yes. Yeah, it's, it's tough. tough. Yeah.